Russia, as the largest country in the world, is divided between two continents, Europe and Asia. The part which is in Asia, including Siberia, makes up more than 75% of the territory. If Asian Russia was independent, it would still be the largest country in the world, roughly equal to the size of the Antarctic continent or the United States and India put together. But this huge chunk of land is extremely sparsely populated, as most of it, namely Siberia, is difficult to inhabit due to the rather extreme climate. But that does not mean that there are no major cities in this subcontinent. Located in the southwestern part of Siberia, on the banks of the Ob River, is the largest city in Asian Russia, Novosibirsk with a population of over 1.6 million, is only smaller than St. Petersburg and Moscow. And while these cities are within the same country and as such look relatively close to each other, they are not. 2,810 kilometers separate Moscow and Novosibirsk, making them more distant than London, which is some 2,500 kilometers away. As such, Novosibirsk is very close to being a perfect halfway point between Moscow and Beijing which is 2,970 kilometers southeast. Much closer than China is Mongolia and Kazakhstan, 800 and 400 kilometers respectively. While the city is technically located in Asia, the majority of the population is made up of ethnic Russians who make up 93% of the population with small portions of Yakuts, Germans, Ukrainians, Tatars, Jews and others. The climate is humid with warm summers but bitterly cold winters. Snow cover is usually formed in early November and lasts 150 to 160 days. The difference between the highest and lowest recorded temperatures is 82 Celsius, with the recorded hottest temperature reaching 36.6 and lowest minus 46.3. The extreme variation is quite common all across Siberia, making it difficult to survive here. The main question remains, how did this Siberian city grow to be the third largest city in Russia? For that, we need to look in the history. Novosibirsk was founded in 1893 as a settlement for the builders of a railway bridge across the Ob River for the Trans-Siberian Railway. The bridge was finished on March 28, 1897, and it didn't take long for a major trading and industrial settlement to start growing here. By 1905, when the first census was taken, there was a population of over 26,000 and a variety of economic activities were taking place. The first time the city was influenced by any kind of conflict came in 1904, when the Russo-Japanese War broke up, which resulted in mass conscription of the citizens of the city. By the beginning of the First World War, Novosibirsk, with a population of 60,000 people, was the center of the main routes of communication in which the shipping on the Ob River intersected with the Great Siberian Route and the Altai Railway. The war of 1914 turned the city into a major training center for troops for the front, and the city received thousands of wounded soldiers and war refugees during the entirety of the war. Soon came the October Revolution, and with it, Soviet power, around December 1917. The Russian Civil War took a toll on the city. Wartime epidemics, especially those of typhus and cholera, claimed thousands of lives. Ob River Bridge was destroyed, and for the first time in the city's history, the population began to decline. But by the 1920s, the city had moved on and out of the period during which was mainly considered a point of transfer of goods and acquired the importance of a factory industrial center. With the construction of multiple railway projects in 1920s and 30s, the city became the largest transportation hub in Asian Russia. And during Joseph Stalin's industrialization effort, Novosibirsk secured its place as one of the largest industrial centers of Siberia, with multiple major facilities. Its rapid growth and industrialization led to Novosibirsk being nicknamed the Chicago of Siberia. By 1934, the population had reached 287,000, making Novosibirsk the largest city in Siberia. Operation Barbarossa was underway. Hitler's troops were on the move and having the element of surprise started capturing major amounts of Soviet territories. The Axis invasion of Russia was swift and devastating. The economy of the Soviet Union shrunk by 34% between 1940 and 1942, with the most productive and industrialized lands falling into the enemy hands. A decision was made. From July until December 1941, the regions which lie in danger of oncoming Axis powers are to be evacuated. This meant that some 2,500 industrial enterprises, more than 12 million people, about 2.4 million livestock, significant food reserves, agricultural machinery objects of cultural value were all evacuated from Western Russia and out of Europe. 
By 1942, the country's main economic and military industrial base was located in the regions east of the Volga. Primarily the Urals and also including Novosibirsk. In March 1942, the output of military equipment and machinery in eastern regions reached a point which equaled production across the entire Soviet Union at the start of the war. The population of Novosibirsk, which was about 400,000 people before the war, increased to 578,000 by 1942. And it wasn't just people in factories that were evacuated, but also museums and theatres, and much of Russia's cultural heritage. The city provided evacuated factories with production areas, and the newcomers with housing, food and clothing, and hid the cultural artefacts. The region was fully mobilized to produce arms for the war. Artillery munitions, tanks, planes and uniforms were produced in massive quantities. As history played out, the Germans never made it past Stalingrad, and the city wasn't physically damaged. All in all, the Second World War was a major period of growth for the city, with a massive influx of people, and the overall relocation of the Russian economy to the east. On September 2nd, 1962, the population of Novosibirsk reached 1 million. At that time, it was the youngest city in the world with over a million residents. The transition to a market economy fundamentally changed the way industrial enterprises operated in Russia as their management and funding were decentralized, leading to a sharp drop in production in the city as it did all over Russia. The high-tech industries, radio electronics, microelectronics, instrumentation, aviation industry, all that were supported by the Soviet government, suffered especially heavy losses, and many enterprises were fiscally abandoned and needed to be reinvented in order to function in the new economy. As a result, between 1991 and 98, industrial production in Novosibirsk fell threefold. But the city survived the transition, and by the early 2000s, the economy had stabilized. Since then, the number of small enterprises in the city has been growing and the city's economy has recovered. Modern-day Novosibirsk is a vibrant modern Russian city, ranked 26th in terms of national living standards in the country. As the growth of industry in Novosibirsk significantly outpaces the basic growth rate of industry in Russian Federation, and especially Siberian Federal District with a significantly lower unemployment rate. Today, finance and real estate are the biggest sectors, followed closely by mining and transportation and communications. And the long-term future of the city and the region is likely very promising, with well over 100 different scientific research facilities still remaining in the city, leading to many new and innovative products. Novosibirsk's central location and the possibility of leveraging the city's major trade partners, China and Kazakhstan, is likely to bring prosperity. Developing and strengthening relationships with foreign markets is a priority for the city, and it's what is likely to keep the city away from economic stagnation, similar to that of the rest of Russia. Located in the center of an important trade route that links Russia and Asia, as well as by being too far to the east to be damaged by any of the great European conflicts, Novosibirsk has managed to be one of the quickest growing cities in the world, largely thanks to its geographical location. Hey, if you want to see more videos on Russia, geography, history, or just like looking at maps, then subscribe. And click up here if you want to watch a video on fascinating Russian islands. Now guess where this is, and I'll see you in about 10 days for my next video. Geo Perspective, out.